गुड मॉर्निंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू बी ओ एस एंड कन्वीनर्स फॉर गिविंग इज दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ अस आर प्रैक्टिसिंग ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जन्स एज माई प्रिडेसर हैव स्टेड यू नो एज अर्थोपेडिक पीपल वी ऑलवेज एग्री टू डिसग्री यू नो सम पीपल आर यूजिंग सीमेंटेड सम पीपल आर यूजिंग अनसीमेंटेड सेम होल्ड्स ट्रू फॉर द कप साइड ऑल्सो एंड देर इज अनदर ब्लॉक विच इज अ हाइब्रिड फिक्सेशन यू नो सीमेंटेड ऑन वन साइड अनसीमेंटेड ऑन अदर साइड सो लेट एस जस्ट कम टू सम कंसेंस हाउ टू गो अबाउट so as you know uh, total hip arthroplasty is uh, has evolved into a safe and cost effective procedure so what why why this first you know i think uh, revision rates are less than 5% even after 15 years but i think we are planning to get these revision rates uh, less than slides 5%. slides are not slides are not going one second sorry uh, please check the ha uh, yeah okay so <coughs> it is one of the it is called uh, uh, thr has been called as the operation of the century uh, we are almost approaching uh, revision rates of less than 5% at 15 years so why why there is a need of this discussion so i think as a practicing orthopedic surgeons uh, we strive to get this revision rate less than 2 to 1% even at 15 to 20 years so i think uh, all of us uh, the predecessors have said that the uh, sir john chanley in 1962 he revolutionized the thr surgery by introducing the concept of low friction arthroplasty initially it involved a cement fixation of the polyethylene cup 22 mm monoblock head to improve the frictional torque it's a it's a concept of low frictional arthroplasty so 22 mm head and a plastic the long term survivorship of chanley thr is 95% at 10 years and more than 80% at 25 years the initially implanted implants with first generation cementing in the hands of john chanley from writington so initially i think why the why there was a shift from uh, cemented to uh, uncemented uh, cemented cup to an uncemented cup uh, initially the pelvic osteolysis which was seen with the cemented cup was found to be because of the cement disease means they thought it's a cement disease the macrophages are eating the cement and that's why you are getting the pelvic osteophases so basically especially the american industry they started uh, solving this problem by developing the uncemented implants and the uncemented fixation of the cups later on uh, as you all know the osteolysis was proven to be a inflammatory reaction basically to the polyethylene particles and as dr weber had said uh, uh, and even dr pandhate had said highly cross linked polyethylene has more or less solved this problem of wear at least in the initial 5 to 10 to 15 years because highly cross pons polyethylene has a very low wear rate and if you are combining a ceramic uh, bearing with a, a highly cross polyethylene it is as good as ceramic on ceramic and a very low wear rate the uncemented cups rely on initial fixation and primary stability with the surface characteristics of the acetabular metal cups and secondary stability which sometimes we put couple of screws uh, by by the fixation and a final sort of uh, stability happens with the bone in growth which happens on the surface of these acetabular cups so bone in growth is the formation of bone within the porous structure of the implant it involves treating the cup surface with bed coating plasma spraying or a tantalum porous coating same like on the femoral side the initial acetabular cups uh, they had a threaded design without any surface coating so that's why uh, they they had a good initial results but later on they failed later on threaded and expansion cups with grid blasted surfaces were introduced again they had a very good short term 3 or 5 year or 7 year uh, mid term follow ups but in the long term at 10 years they all failed because of the poor in growth and poor fixation to the native bone so nowadays i think the acetabular cups which all of us are using are basically hemispherical cups with a porous coated surface and are most frequently used uh, there and they also have the flexibility of allowing us to put suppose some of the screws if we are not very happy on table about the primary stability but mind you i think the uncemented cups you need to have a good primary stability screw is just a just a basically a white wash which we are actually satisfying our mind so i think all of us are practicing orthopedic surgeons we all know the advantages of the cemented cups they offer on table firm secure fixation of the cup regardless of the quality of bone especially in the elderly osteoporotic females it can be used in elderly osteoporotic patients useful in revision cases when there is a severe bone loss and where there is a cost constraint can be used in tumor cases disadvantages initial few clubs and initial the traditional polyethylene not the highly cross linked polyethylene had a high loosening rate after 10 years of implantation high failure rate in physically active young patients 
This is slightly a controversial statement because the Wrightington group, Videsh Raut and uh, Robleski, they, they have shown excellent results even in young active patients with a cemented cup and cemented uh, Chanli THR. Uncemented cups, advantages, uh, a lot of pressure from the industry, supposed to be faster and quicker, shorter operating time, technical difficulties of cementing. Uh, let's face it, a uh, lot of us are now, especially the younger generation surgeons, they have not seen the cemented cups, so they probably don't know how to do the cementing. You know? uh, larger jumbo cups can be used in dysplastic hips or even in cases of revision when there is a big acetabular defects. Supposed to be better survival rate in young active patients. I uh, purposefully said supposed because we'll go to the evidence-based medicine. Nowadays, I think all of us are, our practice is more or less dictated by the EBM, which is evidence-based medicine. They are supposed to be having a better survival rate, 10 years of implantation and preservation of the bone stock. If need be, if the patient comes for a revision afterwards, they are supposed to be uh, sort of conserving the bone stock for the future surgery. Disadvantage, obviously they are costlier, a lot of pressure from the industry to use them because the cost is high and the margins are more. And their use can be tricky as uh, Dr. Pangate had shown on the femoral side, if you use these cups in the elderly patients with the porotic bones and if you hammer or if you are not careful, you may blow away the acetabulum or you may blow away the posterior wall of the acetabulum. Mm -hmm. So let us, uh, let us look at this impassionately, you know, because uh, as you know, uh, which system to use is basically uh, depends on surgeon's choice, experience, and how he is trained, and which system is comfortable. So excellent paper in the Sicot Journal by uh, these two French people, one Belgium and one French. And this is the, this is the paper, which uh, I think it's quite good. Uh, so the aim of the paper is to cement or not to cement the acetabular cups in total hyperthroplasty. Fairly recent paper, 2019. Uh, they searched all the articles which are available in the literature. So see the, the studies, uh, they chose almost about 12 studies which matched prospective randomized trials. 3,65,693 cups they analyzed. And what was the result? In every 12 of these studies, the cemented cup had a similar or lower risk of revision compared to the hybrid prosthesis. Forget about completely uncemented prosthesis. Hybrid is cemented femur and uncemented acetabulum. Though the functionality and quality of life was slightly better with hybrid prosthesis, especially in the younger patients. Survival was better with cemented cups. Functionality and quality of life was slightly better in a young patients with uncemented or a hybrid fixation. And cemented cups were obviously cost effective. So I think uh, I leave up to the best uh, judgment of the audience what to use. So I think take home message, ultimately which cup to use depends on the patient characteristics, patient's age, quality of bones, surgeon's own experience and training regarding a particular system. The general consensus, which at least I follow, is that younger patients and a physiologically young patients less than 50, 70 years of age probably go for an uncemented acetabular cup, whilst in elderly patients with a poor quality bone stock, it is always better to be safe and go for a cemented cup. I thank you for your attention. Yeah.